Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be introducing you to a new project. This is, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. It's a 1991 Jeep Cherokee. I guess it's called XJ. Um, my father's Jeep, is, he was the original owner. He bought it in 1991. And, um, yeah, we, uh, he was going to sell it. We were going to sell it. And he decided, what the heck, can't get too much for it, so he's just going to give it to me. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna make it a little bit of a mutter, I guess. I'm gonna lift it and um, put some bigger tires on, stuff like that. So I'm gonna there'll be a whole new series of projects on this guy for you guys. Today, what we're gonna be doing is uh, doing fixing a problem that's pretty common with these older XJs, and that's um, fixing the oil leak around the oil filter housing or oil filter adapter. That's what we're going to be doing. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace a valve cover gasket. And I know we'll be doing a lift video. And kind of, we'll go from there, see what else pops up. Um, but anyway, let's get started on today's project, the oil filter housing uh, O-rings. Okay, so right down here, this is the oil filter. This is the, I guess, when you're looking at it, this is the left side of the engine. This is the valve cover right here. So this is the oil filter. How it attaches to the block of the engine, there's almost a little L um, elbow. Uh, it goes kind of like that. And there's three O-rings in it, and they tend to leak. Um, it's going to be very hard for you to see. I'll see if I can get a light down there in a minute. But it leaks everywhere. <laughs> uh, it starts out small, and it gets progressively worse as the time goes on. So um, there's a kit you can buy right from Jeep or Chrysler that will fix the problem. Okay, so we're going to start simply by removing the oil filter. So I've got a oil filter wrench on there, a half inch ratchet. And I'm just going to start loosening it off, like so. Once you've got it hand loose, you can take all this off and twist it off by hand. Make sure you have something underneath to catch any oil that drips and a rag handy. There you go, and now you're just going to set it aside. The reason you did that is so that you create more room for yourself to get uh, the elbow off. Okay, you can now see down here better. That's where the filter goes, and you can kind of see back behind there is the elbow. It goes like that, right there. You can see all the oil and gunk on there. Right on this side, right right where my fingertip is, there's a bolt. In my case it's a 5 8 and uh, so you're going to need a 5 8 inch socket and ratchet and you're just going to back off this bolt that will come out this way here. Um, once you do that, the whole thing should just come right off. Okay, so we're just going to go in here and start. I already got it loose so we're just going to start backing it off to a point where we can spin it off with our hand. You can see it's loose now. So if I can get my hand under there, we can probably just spin it off. Sorry, my arm's gonna block the view. Oh, no, it's still too tight, still too tight. Put the ratchet back on. Problem is now we're hitting up against the frame, so I'm gonna have to go grab a wrench. Give me a second. Okay, I've grabbed a wrench. This is gonna be really tedious. We're just gonna loosen it off. It would really help if you had a... Oh, there it goes. Where'd it go? Oh, it just twisted. I see, I see. Um, there. 
it would really help if you had a ratcheting 5 8 inch okay now I don't know if you guys can see that or not take the camera off right there right there that's the bolt you have to be undoing and this turns back up normally like this when it falls you can see the bolt right on the back right there okay okay so we got the piece out now um, let's see how this goes into the engine block this side uh, like this and then the oil filter sits on top so that goes into the engine this is the oil filter so there's uh, a bunch of different o-rings on here this is the kit from Mopar uh, 0472 0363 and that's the kit you need I'm gonna go ahead and open this up you're gonna need a little pick or flathead or something for these guys to see looks like three different o-rings here so we're gonna start with his main one. Oh man this is hard as a rock holy crap this is not even an o-ring no wonder it was leaking <laughs> I bet you I can almost break it in two this is this is crap okay that's why it was leaking so that's the main one and we're just gonna re put a new one in there just like that the next one I believe is right uh, here so again this is the piece that goes into the engine I'm gonna pull it off and there's one right here pull that one off and again hard as a rock uh oh that's not good that's not the right size give me a sec here guys I think I lost an o-ring Okay, so after some um, research and stuff like that, I found out that the package that I bought from Jeep actually has the wrong O-rings in it. These are the ones that came with it, and they are by far the wrong size. These are the two that I need, as you can see. Huge size difference. Um, so I had to go down to the local parts store and get these ones. Kind of sucks, but they were cheap, so it doesn't really matter. So we're going to go ahead and install these ones now. One there, and this one around here. Like that. Now we're going to go ahead, put it all back together. And we're going to clean it all off so there's no oil residue on it. And then we're going to go ahead and install it back in the Jeep. Okay, now that we got it uh, O-rings all on, we're just going to do the opposite of removal and put it back on. Kind of, you can definitely, you can spin it, spin the bolt in a few turns and then you're going to have to do the rest with a wrench and a ratchet just like taking it out. But uh, once we got that done, once it's all snugged up, we'll go ahead and put the filter back on. Okay, and now that it's all snug, snug down, we're gonna go ahead, put the oil filter back on. It is full of oil, so we'll probably spill some. If you're due for an oil change, this would be a good time to do it. Um, but we just did one, so we're still good. And then we're gonna go ahead, tighten it down with a filter wrench. Okay guys, well, that's it for this video. It's a pretty simple, uh, pretty simple fix, pretty simple install. Not much to it, just unbolt the old housing, uh, put the new O-rings, bolt the housing back up, put the oil filter back on. You don't even have to take the oil filter off. 
uh, it just makes it a little easier to get the bolt off. Um, and other than that, yeah, like I checked it, no more leaking from that part, so that's good. Um, next video we'll be doing the valve cover gasket, so that one is uh, a little more complicated, still very, very simple though. So uh, we'll get that one on video for you guys, and other than that, I guess we'll just go from there. Like I say, down the road we'll be putting a lift on, and I'm not exactly sure what else we'll be doing, but I'm sure we'll be uh, some cool things happening. Anyway, thanks for watching, subscribe, comment, and see you in the next video.